Hi everybody, this is Randy Suits with a letter and a song. Today's letter for October 18 is My Lovely Rose of Sharon. My dear Eve, the Rose of Sharon is a bush that explodes with blooms repetitively through the summer in resplendent flowers. It derives its name from a region in ancient Israel. Sharon was a plain, a level tract extending from the Mediterranean Sea to the hill country to the west of Jerusalem, about 30 miles long and from 8 to 15 miles broad. It's celebrated for its beauty and for fertility. The Rose of Sharon is celebrated in scripture, the Song of Solomon, for example. It is called La Sharon in Joshua. The Song of Solomon uses the phrase Rose of Sharon to describe the beauty of a young woman. I am a Rose of Sharon, a lily of the valleys. A discourse begins between the lovely woman and her lover. Like a lily among thorns is my darling among the maidens. Like an apple tree among the trees of the forest is my lover among the young men. I delight to sit in his shade, and his fruit is sweet to my taste. He has taken me to the banquet hall, and his banner over me is love. Strengthen me with raisins, refresh me with apples for I am faint with love. His left arm is under my head, and his right arm embraces me. Her lover calls her to be his wife and says, My lover spoke and said to me, Arise, my darling, my beautiful one, and come with me. See, the winter is past, the rains are over and gone, flowers appear on the earth, the season of singing has come. The cooing of doves is heard in our land. The fig tree forms its early fruit. The blossoming vines spread their fragrance. Arise, come, my darling, my beautiful one. Come with me. She says in summary, my lover is mine and I am his. He browses among the lilies. Until the day breaks and the shadows flee, turn, my lover, and be like a gazelle or like a young stag on the ragged hills. You, my darling Eve, are my lovely rose of Sharon, for your flower of love always blooms and blossoms in tenderness, understanding, and faithfulness. You are a living bouquet of blessing to me basking in the fragrance of your love. Kohane. Sometimes we write these kinds of letters to the woman we love. And uh, we see that even Solomon was acquainted with these things. Uh, the love of a woman he wrote about in many ways in Psalms and Proverbs and the Song of Solomon. Let us be thankful for the good things that God gives and let's give thanks for scripture. You know, we get to read in printed form uh, the mind of God as he spoke through his prophets uh, and uh, through those uh, who, who taught his word, those saints. Let's be grateful for that. And today we're going to do a song called I Have a Talk with Jesus. You know, we should be talking and walking with our Lord every day. Get up in the morning and ask him the first thing to make your day a blessing. And when you go to bed at night, ask him for safe sleep and thank him for the day. And know that your God is a merciful God. And be part of his, be part of his day, folks. And he will be part of your day. Never forget that. Be part of God's day. And God will definitely be part of your day. I have a talk with Jesus every day. And this song, folks, 
I put on my uh, web page along with the letter. So if you want to hear this song as recorded in studio with the um, arrangements by Peg Schneider, uh, you can hear that nice uh, uh, violin string ensemble uh, behind uh, the words of this song as recorded um, in, in time past. So thank you, Lord, for all that you've done for us. Thank you, my dear friends, for being with us. And I'm going to sing this song in closing. I have a talk with Jesus every day. From dawn to dusk, he listens as I pray. And when I need an understanding word, his is the sweetest voice I've ever heard. similar to the love of God for his children is the love of a man and a woman in love in their marriage. Uh, I see many similarities there and even the Apostle Paul said the same thing. He saw a similarity between the son and the father relationship between a man and his wife or a wife and her husband. So let's look for these things and let's attempt to emulate the relationship between the Father and the Son in our marriages. And let's remember that the Most High God is with us in all that we endeavor to do uh, to, to glorify His name. And let us live our lives in a way that glorifies the Most High God. And now, my friends, my dear friends and neighbors and family, may the Lord, even the Most High God, be with you in all that you think, say, do, and are. Thank you for being, and God willing, we'll see you again soon. <laughs>